Shaq went on Angel Reese's podcast after a lot of controversy. You know, um, I started a little bit of controversy. I called out Angel Reese and what she's wearing. Uh, it sparked a little bit of debacle on the internet, but nothing too crazy. Just a few million views and a large conversation. But she's been on a bad press run of doing things like talking about how she can't pay her rent, embarrassing herself to extremes. Let's see here. He ain't pays them bills, baby. I just hope y'all know the WNBA don't pay my bills at all. I don't even think that pays one of my bills. <laughs> Literally. I'm trying to think of like my rent for where I stay at. I'm going to do the math real quick. He might cover that. Yeah, he, covers, like, that. he it, covers that. He definitely covers that. I don't even know my salary. 74? Okay. Times. Here, I'll do it. Yeah. I don't even know what's going on. Does it? Let me see. You don't even. <laughs> Yo! I'm living beyond my means. <laughs> it's like. Um. No, my rent is more than that. It's 8,000. <laughs> I'm living beyond my means. Like y'all think. Babe, if y'all thought. Mm-mm. Like, let me. See. I don't. Even, I don't even know my salary for the WNBA. A thing. Did I even pay my car note? <laughs> yeah, I think I paid your car note. Yeah, I ain't doing it that thing. And the problem with that is that with all that, with all that controversy happening, what that did was it made her put her in a worse predicament. Because after I said something, this video slowly circulated. Because the big speculation is why does Angel Reese go out and do things that she does if she can make money from the WNBA. And a lot of people wanted to justify it was for different reasons, such as um, she doesn't really want to be in the NBA or she has to advertise herself that way because uh, there's not much money she can make in the NBA by being normal and doing normal WNBA player things because she's not marketable. And all these different things as to why she had to go to Chicago uh, to play basketball because if she didn't go to Chicago, then she wouldn't be able to make any money anywhere else because she's not marketable. She can't really be like the Caitlin Clarks or whatever. And um, some people say her team is not advising her to do the same things that Caitlin Clark's team is doing. That was Joe Budden. That was Joe Budden who said that. Um, and that she doesn't want to get much money long term. Now, my whole personal thought is she just wants to be a nasty little ratchet girl. But people want to try to act like it's for other reasons outside of that. I don't think there's any other reason. So when she went on Wild and Out, this is what it all led up to with the whole Shaq conversation because this is how she looked when she went on Wild and Out and it caused for a lot of controversy for a WNBA player to be looking like this. So this is her. She was going on the stage, had some really, really, really tight outfit on and it's going to make sense what Shaq was saying. Now, for her to be this tall, to have clothes this tight, it's almost borderline unnecessary and it was just dramatically uncomfortable to have to see this. I mean, she looks like a Wild and Out girl. So when everyone was like, yo, bro, like this is how you want to present yourself, this is how we're going to start talking about you. But then when people started talking about her in that negative manner, everybody wanted to act like the world was crazy. Everybody wanted to act like people were bugging. So when she bought the girl Kayla Nicole on the podcast and they're talking about Travis Kelsey and all of this nonsense, people started talking out about her sideways like, yo, she don't really want to be no ball player. This is not what the future of the NBA looks like or the WNBA, this is not the future of what black women should represent themselves as in the future of power. So my conversation was, why when black women get power or when we get power, we have to represent ourselves in a derogatory way? Like when rappers always want to go back to the hood, you're a millionaire, there's no point to do ghetto ratchet shit. Truth be told, the hood and the ghetto glorifies a lot of lame ass shit and people want to act like it's okay to do so. So when Shaq went up there, this is what he said. And you, don't, don't, don't strike this from the tape, Christian. We ain't striking it. Don't, 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 I'm telling you, if you just lower like that to where it gives your ability to dunk. Bro, imagine you. In I'm not same, imagining. On, let me finish. Imagine you in the same little shirt you had on at the Wild and Out show, Duncan. You know how many t-shirts you're going to sell, because you tripping. Oh, my what? God. <laughs> oh what? God. What? The same little shirt you had on. Okay. All right. All right. You, all right. Duncan, all right. All right. All right. Bro. Over an inch. And you. Don't, don't, don't strike this from. And this was her outfit. So people were confused as to why he said that. And he said, yo, you know how many T-shirts you would sell doing that? Because if we're going to market ourselves and sexually export ourselves, why not just go all the way is my question. 
if we're gonna play the game and look like this, then let's just go all the way. Fuck it. So a lot of people are very disappointed in what Shaq had to say, and it left Shaq in nothing but a bunch of creepy headlines like, "Oh, Shaq is a creep." Um, this, that, and the third. Let's see. Let me show you some of these headlines. Shaq Angel Reese. If you just type in Shaq Angel Reese on the internet, all it did was put him in negative controversy because of his comments. But then people were also mad when they say clearly she don't want to make no money. Why does she dress like this? Why does she do that? But now, when somebody says, well, you might as well capitalize off it, people want to call him a creep. So the culture is ultimately contradicting, and the culture can never make up their mind with what side that they actually want to stand on. Now, I don't think Angel Reese has intentions to hurt anybody. I don't think Angel Reese wants to, um, you know, be portrayed negatively. I think Angel Reese is truly just a very young girl who doesn't have the proper team behind her or cares about her best interests at hand and not having a negative perception in society i think that they just want to make as much money as possible and people know that sex sells the WNBA is full of a lot of girls who date other girls um in order for her to not fall into that category what does she have to do she has to surround herself with what is deemed as femininity to not fall under that negative stereotype as they call of an umbrella but um when you got people like Shaq who call themselves your mentor it makes it kind of weird when you say stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not really meant for Shaq to say. It was supposed to have been said by maybe someone else. But since Shaq is a Hall of Fame NBA player himself, it's not really a good look for Shaq. But I also think Shaq is trying to play the same game of this branding thing. Because even if you look at Shaq's new image, he's a grown man wearing big ass chains like he's a rapper. So it just leads to say what is actually happening in the industry and is there even any room for anybody to not do anything besides just sell themselves out to make more money? And, you know, um, and a lot of people were speculating that she was very, very, very uncomfortable. And there are certain people who say what I'm saying. This is what happens when you start to sexualize yourself. And there's other people saying his daughter probably the same age or around the same age as Angel, just gross behavior. Or I said, I'm glad she gave him that attitude. Like, seriously, what was he thinking? But we all know what Shaquille O'Neal was thinking. And. When you have to pick a side, do you want to be a basketball player or do you want to be an OnlyFans model? Why is everybody confused? It's like people want to blame the person who agrees with you and gives you advice on how to keep exploiting yourself, but they don't blame the person for putting themselves. It's not like she was a perfect person or she was running around fully clothed like she's some type of lady wearing a, a, a fully, uh, you know, uh, a, a, what do they call it? Uh, uh, what do they call it, a prude person or whatever, or a nun, then if he said that, then it's like, yo, bro, why did you, why would you say something like that? Like, you're verbally exploiting, sexually exploiting the girl, but since you go around looking how you do, I'm not understanding why people are so mad that Shaq said it and not addressing the issue at first hand. But um, this is the game, and I think once people realize that no one is your friend in this industry, and people call themselves mentors and all this stuff, but people are going to play the card that you deal them. And there's a wise saying that says you negotiate, you only get what you negotiate. You put yourself in this predicament, this is how people are going to treat you. Kobe Bryant and all these people couldn't handle themselves this way because it would have caused controversy. When you're a professional athlete, you conduct yourself in a certain type of way. If there are 15 under Angel Reese's to go around in the WNBA, they would not have picked her. And I'm just going to be brutally honest with y'all. But as I always say, you let me know your thoughts about that. Was Shaq wrong or is Angel Reese wrong? Or are they just both wrong for just trying to clout chase and be negative and, and, and fall in the negative stereotypes of black America? Let me know your thoughts. I'm gone.